we are happy to announce good news today for the citizens of Gatlinburg. Last night at about 7.30 p.m., um, Veolia Water and the City of Gatlinburg restored wastewater treatment at Gatlinburg Wastewater Treatment Facility. As a result, we have completely stopped discharge of sewage into the river. Immediately following Tuesday's collapse of the Equalization Basin Wall, we dispatched experts from around the country to Gatlinburg to support the team on the ground here. Their number one priority was to mitigate the environmental impact and assist in stopping the bypass as quickly as possible. Although the bypass is no longer in effect, those experts will continue to assist on-site staff in full restoration of treatment operations. Well, TDEC has regulatory control over the plant, and Dale, I need you to come up here and help me with some of these technical questions. Y'all remember this is Dale Phelps, Utilities Manager. Uh, what was the first question, Natalie? Um, who's responsible for independent inspection of the plant? We, we, the, city will, the city will be hiring an independent consultant to do that inspection. It's been approved at that time. And again, that was uh, following the project completion in 1996, and that was a full, uh, engineering evaluation at that time and that wall and that buttress is still standing at this time. Is the decision to buttress that due to any particular failure in testing or otherwise of the initial construction or? We understand that there was some movement in uh, in a tank wall when the tank was initially filled. We are, we are still going through process units to ascertain exactly what level of damage uh, has been uh, incurred. So we haven't finished that that complete inspection of all those. So there's not an approximate number on a monetary damage to that basin yet? Do you know that? Oh, no. Time? I, I, still I, not, I, you're still assessing? Okay. And is it true there was a crack in the basin 